Thomas didn't take long for Coach Baldwin to realize he was going to be the man, and he has been the man all season, 57.5%. They don't have Tywon Jones, so what do they have to do? Mario Brown, the true freshman running back, has to step up and carry the load. He's got to get good yards today. And wide receiver, Brandon Kaufman, their wide receiver, big waiting on the inside is Marquise Kirkland, the leading tackler for this Villanova defense. Rest set of downs now for the Eagles. A couple of tight ends in there for Mo Levi Mitchell to go with the football and turns up there and turns a nothing play into positive yards to keep the drive alive. Out of the shotgun. Brown will stay in at tailback. Four receiver look. And just a flat out drop and in, a, in the right spot picked it up. They mean by disappointing, trying to do too much with the football. But it looks like he's playing his best football now at the right time of the season. Taiwan Jones averages 7.9 yards per carry. The, rest, the freshman running back, Mario Brown, averages half that at 3.5. Pick up more yak yards, yards after catch, and almost pick up the first down for the Eagles. Be able to turn your head that quick and deliver a catchable pass to the tight end in the flat, Zach Garrett. Oh, Levi. They're not getting out of their comfort zone. That's just what they do. Unfortunately, when you try and get so much pressure on that 3-3 stack, and he said the reason he went to the three for the D lineman is the fact that you just can't recruit natural playing running back. He doesn't look scared at all to be a true freshman. He played one play. They took the opening kickoff. Angelo Bavero took it back 86 yards for these guys. They say could be our best defensive player, very active around the football. Anytime you see him make, come in and make a tackle. Third down and six, ball sits at the 10-yard line. Empty set for Bo Levi Mitchell. This linebacker moved him down to the defensive end spot, and it's worked out pretty well, I'd say. He has given his club great field position again tomorrow at noon Eastern. Team. Quarterbacks that don't get nervous when the blitz is coming because they know where the hot read is. That's when you're clicking on all cylinders. Cut here by Brown right there. You see it? He sees the vision. You see him looking right there. Oh, this is where I should be running with the football. Good job. 61 yards on the ground for Eastern Washington. Brown has 53 of those. Look how many here with all. Doesn't come down with that catch. Just wish he would just stop and settle, but he couldn't get his feet underneath him. Brown has already eclipsed his previous high for rushing yards. Playoffs versus bowl games. <laughs> Many people would like to see that playoffs in both columns there, but and then next thing you know, it's 41-7 final score. But the one thing that has helped neutralize that a little bit has been the advent of the spread off. Game. Meanwhile, you look at uh, Villanova, they are your defending FCS champs trying for a repeat. The pull, pulling contest. We can pull it out of there. Eastern Washington comes away with the football. The third fumble recovery. Energy thus far in this football contest. Continuing to have to defend the short field. You just wonder how much longer can the Wildcats keep momentum in the air. Just kind of came out of the football. And they've been struggling to find some rhythm since they got off to that hot start. Line on fourth down and we'll call it a short three long two. He's just looking for a soft spot in the zone coverage. Finds it, makes the catch, turns around. First down. 100 yards all season long. You get to the semifinals, and they say, here you go, young man. It's, it's your football. And he's been good to this point. Blitz. He's making good, accurate throws. You know what's going to happen? Sooner or later, they're going to stop blitzing. They're going to realize, hey, there's no point in sending the next half. Anytime you turn a negative play into positive yardage. Thousand miles they will have logged. Not to mention this week. They're going through exams. Some of their players in the hotel last night at 11 o'clock Eastern time were taking some fun. That was a huge play. Good wherewithal by Mitchell. Five yards down the field. Then he runs very aggressively with the football, attacks the defense. Left and right without Taiwan Jones. Every time that Villanova's trying to br bring pressure with the blitz. And a touchdown in there, but late in the game, felt something pop in his foot. 
had surgery on Tuesday, had a pin placed in that foot. And just leaves him in their traps. That's a good old fashioned juke move. He even gets Taiwan Jones to <laughs> break a smile. To the times, just as successful pushing around the Wildcat defensive front line. Give up the deep pass very often. They like to keep things in front of you. If you're going to do yards on the ground now, a career high for Mario Brown, a true freshman tailback. He'll stay in the game. Third down and three coming up for the Eagles. 16 out of 22, a buck 49, couple of touchdowns. Twice or twice as much time of possession as Villanova. That's the key. Of the three turn, a good job by Tyler Hart to hold on to that football. So often the wide receiver would become disengaged from the football, but he showed some toughness by holding on. It's led Villanova to 14 stops, throws deep on the run, and that's incomplete. Looking for Brandon Kaufman, picks on the coverage. And here comes, as you see in the background, Matt Caesar back to return this Chris Whitney who. Did not practice all week because of a bad foot, and it looks as though that foot might be bothering him once again. We'll see if the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl. All three games are also available on ESPN Radio, online at ESPN3.com. And the cutting, I mean, you couldn't even see it if you watch it in regular speed how he made that guy miss. When you look at the replay, you see it's marked all the way across the field. That's one of the furthest throws you can make in college football. Nicholas Edwards doing a good coach before coming here to Eastern. Prize rent a car on ESPN2 and ESPNU tomorrow. How about the sixth straight championship meeting? Championship game appearances. And seems like Wisconsin Whitewater is the new kid on the block. Second down and six. Boy, Whitney is just hobbling around, can barely move. Still eight, eight out of 12 through the seventh. The winner will face the winner of Delaware, Georgia Southern, coming your way at noon Eastern tomorrow on ESPNU. That'll be an exciting game. Delaware. Catch and pick up a few yards. It's nine catches now for Edwards. That's a career high. Also has a career high, 82 yards. Bro. Ah, that's one that wouldn't you wish he could have back. Well, Minner. 9 22. Eastern Washington will let this. Eastern Washington just one out of nine on third downs today. Looking at a third end. Right here on this field, the red turf. Eastern Washington won in overtime, 30 game appearance. Finished the regular season as the top ranked team in the points on the board. Boy, has 100 yards on the ground now, 22 carries, 100 yards. Just flat out brutal on third downs tonight. One out of ten. They came in third in their conference in the Big Sky. Brown back in the game at tailback. He'll line up seven yards deep. Over there, down three. They have trailed all night. With the exterior in the Pacific Northwest, temperatures in the mid 20, 20s. But we are at the Inferno, the red turf of Eastern Wall going for the field goal. They will try to close it out here with a first down on fourth. <laughs> Jerry Kills going on to Minnesota. Nova James Pitts forcing Brown out of bounds to stop that clock. Look at the Villanova offensive line. Guy. On fourth down and four. They converted a fourth and five just a minute and a half ago. Guys like Matt Caesar and Chris Witt.